In this video, I'm going to install Windows 11 in an old laptop. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, let's see a quick report about this laptop hardware details. As you can see, 2 gigs and half RAM storage, dual core CPU processor, and 32 bit operating system installed on this one. The first thing that we need is Windows 11 ISO file. So type download Windows 11 ISO file, go to that website, you will see this tab. In here, you need to scroll to find download Windows 11 disk image ISO for 64 bit devices. In here, select Windows 11 and hit download now. Right now, you need to choose your language. So I'm going to choose English, United States, then hit the confirm. After that, you will see the download link. But I actually download the file and we are going to jump to the next step. Our Windows 11 ISO file is downloaded and it is near 8 gigabytes. For now, we will need an application which is called Rufus. It is free, it is totally free. Just type the name, open the website. Okay, this is the website that I'm talking about it. You need to scroll and find the download links. Right now, as you can see, it is for Windows 64-bit operating system and this one is for Windows 32-bit operating system. X86, it is a sense for 32-bit operating systems. And if you don't know that your Windows is 64-bit or 32-bit, don't worry. You need to right click on your disk PC, go to the properties tab and in here you will see on this place which shows system type. All done. So I need to press in here, just hit on the link and your download it will be start. For this step we will need a flash drive. At least 8 GB of a flash drive is enough and we can continue to install Windows 11 on it. But let me tell you a note, you need to copy or move the important files that you have on your flash drive into a safe place because this flash drive it will be formatted and all of the files that you will have on that one it will be destroyed so move your files into a safe place okay we plugged in our flash drive and open the Rufus application right now we need to choose the disk ISO image so I just simply copy the path and paste it in here all done this is our file and i'm going to press on the open in here you need to choose mbr partition shim because we are going to install these windows on a bios based laptop because this laptop is too old and the target system hardware that this motherboard chips installed on them is bias space so select the bias and if you want to know the whole difference between both of them i will create a video about it so subscribe to the channel and watch that one this is good all of the settings are good and we choose our flash drive which as you can see it is 64 gigabytes and if i press the start all of the data that i have on my flash drive all of them are going to be deleted i press on the start and this is the error that we talked about it. Hit the OK button. It might take a few minutes to create this flash drive and make it ready. So I stop the video until this process end. OK, this process is done and I need to close the Rufus app and eject my flash drive. Right now our flash drive is ready and I'm going to plug that into the old laptop that we have. And after that, we are going to install Windows 11 and I'm going to tell you the method that you can install Windows 11 on the old laptop. Let's go. This is our flash drive and it is ready to start installing Windows on it. Let me tell you a note. This is your C drive and all of the files that you have on your C drive, it will be deleted. I mean the desktop files that you have, all of them are going to be deleted. and if you have any files on the libraries such as videos, music, these parts, all of them are going to be deleted. So you need to move or copy your files into another folder. 
I'm using Alt plus F4, then hit the restart. In this step, I hit F2 button to go to the BIOS settings of this Toshiba laptop. It depends on your laptop model and the company that produce and create that laptop. And if you don't know the exact button to go to the BIOS setting, you can just simply search it. I mean, you can just simply type Sony via laptops BIOS keyboard button. Okay, with this type of RGB. This is BIOS menu. Go to the boot. With using plus, you need to move USB memory at the first boot partition and press on F10. Save and exit. Press the key. Okay. First one is language, you need to install Windows. And that one is time and currency format. This one is keyboard input method which is us i mean english method input if you want to change you can simply change them from this scroll tab which is which it is appear i press on next in here you need to hit install now in here it says type your active license so for now i hit on i don't have a product key this laptop it is connected into my network if you want don't want to see this disconnect your laptop from your network windows 11 enterprise is my advice install this version and hit a next your computer hardware needs to have four requirements to install windows 11 on it and because this laptop is too old so we don't have that four requirements and in this way we are going to change the values press shift plus f10 this tab it will be open for you okay in here you need to type regedit and hit enter go to h key local machine in here you need to go to the system open this part in here go to the setup open okay if you don't see lab config in here you need to right click press new key and in here type lab config like the way i type and hit enter right now you create this folder right click press new d word 32 bit value type bypass tpm check hit enter double click on it and set the value to one done another one bypass secure boot check hit enter again enter set the value to one bypass ram check hit enter again enter set value to one the final one is CPU, it is for the CPU requirements, again type bypass CPU check, double click, double enter and set value to 1. All done, I need to close this tab, again close the regedit, hit this button, again press on next and we will skip that part that says you cannot install windows 11 on this old machine hit i accept the microsoft license press on next press install windows on advanced mode i'm going to delete this partition and delete our c drive hit new then Press on apply, then hit on OK. 
and press on next. We need to wait until this installation finished. Step, choose your country and region for me it is United States and I hit on the yes for me English keyboard is necessary so I set it as the first input method and I hit on the yes in here if you want to add another keyboard layout you need to hit add layout so I press it and in here I need to find Persian Persian for Iran I hit add layout Persian is only for Iran, I don't know why it types Afghanistan. Okay, in this part I press on I don't have internet and I hit continue with limited setup. Who is going to use this device? Type your name and hit on enter. If you want to set a password, type it and because I don't really want to set a password, so I didn't type anything and hit the next. Press on next and all done. All of the setups is done and we are going to jump into Windows machine. Windows 11 installed successfully on this old laptop this laptop is too old but as you can see we have Windows 11 on it if I right click and open the task manager you will see that 99% of my CPU is, it is using and 75% of my memory it is right now using on this device the speed is too low. I installed Windows 11 on this old laptop, but my recommendation is do not install Windows 11 on that until you buy RAM storage and SSD to upgrade that one. And my recommendation is upgrade your RAM storage for at least 4 GB to use Windows 11 better on your laptop. In this video, I convert my phone into a webcam. If you want, you can watch that. That's cool. See you on the next one.